The book is a must-have for any fan of the Scissor Sisters with accompanying text contribution by Jake himself, introduction by Elton John, and an afterword by Kylie Minogue. Woo! Woo! A portion of all the book sales benefit the Elton John AIDS Foundation. So please join me in giving a big outright welcome to Tim Halen and Jake Shears. Um, it's actually really nice to be in a gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender bookstore. We don't see too many of them around these days, so it's Woo! lovely to be in here. Um, this is Tim Halen. I'm responsible for this, this book. And, uh, yeah, we're both really happy with it. Um, it's been it's been a great way to uh, it's been a great way to, you know by doing stuff like this by meeting fans and and uh, do you want to say anything, Tim? We'll take questions. Do you want to say you'll have any? So, do you have any questions about this? But yeah, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll get talking to you about any anything you want to ask about this. How many weeks did you prep and talk before you started photographing? Um, we prep for ten years. We've known each other for a long time. <laughs> Um, I met him on the beach in Barcelona. Before you even had a band, really. Yeah, and uh, and then we've been friends ever since. And um, I've been photographing Jake for about a decade. So, oh, speaking of this, I've been photographing Jake for about a decade. So it was just kind of a natural progression in our, you know, photographic process. <laughs> <laughs> Something to talk about. I have a question. Yeah. About how you chose that name. Yeah. And I'm just curious. I would like to know. Well, the, it. Uh, I was. I was on the phone with a friend of mine in New York. Uh, I, was, I was still in college, and he was telling me that he had gone out the night before. He's kind of a funny guy, you know. He's telling me he had gone out the night before with a couple of lesbians, and and Woo! and then he referred to me and said they were real scissor sisters. <laughs> And I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And I went back and it was like we were just starting to record music in the studio. And Baby Daddy and I were like talking about what we call ourselves or whatever. And so that name came up. And he created the logo that night. So it was sort of like that, that marriage. Of the, the, I came in the next day and we had this logo. And it was like, you know. But originally, yeah, it came from a, a reference to... I, I, I wonder who these lesbians are. I mean, it would be interesting to know, you know, ten years later. Jake, you have some great naked pictures of yourself in the <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about getting naked for the world? I've never been a, I mean, I've, I've, I've never been a big fan of, like, I, I'm not a nudist by any means. I, I don't like necessarily just walking around naked. It's just not my thing. Or I, there's something about just kind of flapping around that I'm not that into. Um, and I've never been a major fan of, like, I, I love strippers. You know, I've got my own kind of sorted past in the stripper industry or whatever, but I've never been a fan of, I, mean, I love Swinging Richards, but, uh, and, and I go there whenever I'm here, but I'm not crazy about dancers getting totally naked. I'm just not, I'm not really a, I'm not really a flaccid dick guy. <laughs> um, so, so I saw your It Gets Better video and I thought it was amazing, and I just thanks. wondered, um, what did you feel like, as an artist, how do you feel responsible as far as being an out man in the industry and do you think that more artists should kind of follow your lead to be as out and proud as you are for the youth that kind of need people to look up to them? Well I hope that I hope that whatever I've done in the past ten years or, or you know being out and, and, and working will you know make it easier for, for those you know coming behind to, to do the same themselves. Um, I think it's really I think it's really important. It seems like a you know, I'm definitely not. I look at I look at the sort of my music forefathers, all the guys that that came out and were sort of making what I think to be kind of out gay music. You know, long before I was, and people like you know Holly Johnson and Andy Bell and Mark Holman and you know even people like Elton. You know, which which it took him a while to come out, but uh, I think that. Uh, you know, it's been really interesting with Ricky Martin. I'm really happy he finally came out. Right. Um, I, I, you know, it's. I hope that people can just be doing it earlier and earlier. I mean, I can't imagine. I don't think this band would exist, or I don't think I, I would be able to do what I do if I was in the closet. So I'm, I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that the door is just kind of getting wider and wider. 
because um, you know sometimes it, it does feel like it slams shut in your face. Right. Um, there are like there are just certain things being out and gay that 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 you know is cross to bear when you're when you're in this industry. I think that there's like a real, especially in America, there's there's these guys up on top that are like a real boys club. There's a very select few that are making certain decisions that really affect your career. And, uh, and you know, I think that there's a mentality still that can really, you know, keep you down a bit. But I just figured that's the sacrifice we make and, and hopefully, you know, those, you know, in years to come won't necessarily have to make that sacrifice.